Today I'm going to show you how students in third grade um, will use equal groups to solve multiplication problems. So here we have a typical third grade, you know, beginning of third grade multiplication problem um, where it says Aaliyah purchased four boxes of muffins at the bakery. So we know that Aaliyah has, we know that Aaliyah has four boxes or four groups of things. Um, and then each box contained six muffins. So this is how many things are in each group, right? There's six muffins in each box. So how many muffins did Aaliyah purchase in all? So to show this as equal groups, students will, again, draw pictures because they're still at that concrete level. Third graders need concrete drawings to help them um, to understand multiplication problems and any other kinds of problems in third grade. Now, some kids can do this without, you know, and some students can do this without drawing, but really we want students to draw because it goes back to that concrete. Okay, so we're going to first start with our four boxes here. That's our groups. So I'm just going to draw, simply just draw out four boxes. So one, two, three, and four. So I have four groups of things here. That's where my four boxes comes from. Now in each box, we know they contain six muffins. So there's lots of ways that students can do this. I'm going to show you kind of two typical ways that they can use equal groups to solve a, a multiplication problem. First thing they can do is they can just kind of put tally marks to represent the six muffins, right? So we got six here in group number one, six in group number two, six in group number three, and then six in group number four. So now we have four groups of six. Now some students can use these drawings, these concrete drawings to do some repeated addition and they can do six plus six plus six plus six. So you know we have six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. So we know that six plus six plus six plus six equals 24 muffins. And I'll just put an M for muffins as, as the label. So that's using, you know, equal groups to do repeated addition. Now, some students can, you know, they can use their skip counting abilities to figure this out and they can create um, a multiplication problem out of this, right? So some students will say there's six muffins in group number one. And then another six in group number two will make 12. And then another six in group number three or box number three will make 18. And then another group of six in the fourth box of muffins will make 24. So some students can, you know, jump right into the skip counting. And we know when we look at our problem that we have one group, two groups, three groups, four groups of six. So that means our multiplication would be four times six equals 24. So that's typically how students will use equal groups and drawings of equal groups to, cre to create um, a solution to um, a multiplication problem. And again, students in this, you know, they're coming from doing repeat addition, repeated addition in second grade, and some students will do that. Um, and answer the problem that way. And other students will jump right into some skip counting and be able to do four times six equals 24 muffins. All right, so that's how you would solve a multiplication problem using equal groups.